Now, as we leave the Butterfly Garden, we come into the side area of the Keystone Park. And what I wanted to show homeowners is how to layer the different landscape plants or natives in their yard. You start out with the little low growing verbena, work your way up to the medium sized agave, and then you finally go up to a very interesting plant called the Arizona rosewood, which is the tall plant at the end of this bed. This great evergreen plant is a great substitute for oleander in that it is evergreen all year long. It doesn't have the showy pink flowers of the oleander, but what it does have is it gets big. It gets to be about 12 feet tall and 12 feet wide. It can be trimmed up as a tree or it can be a nice screening bush so you don't have to look at your neighbors because it's going to be green all the time. But basically this area is just to show you how you just have to have low growing, medium growing and tall growing plants in every bed and make sure it's full. Don't be afraid to add a lot of plants. You don't want a lot of rock. You actually want to hide the rock as much as possible. On the other side of the path, we have another great easy care landscape that has flower, tree, flowering bush, and an evergreen bush. The evergreen bush is called an Artemisia. It is the Artemisia ludovichiana. It's your common sage. It's gray. It grows all winter and summer. It always has that pretty gray color, and it's an evergreen. The tree above it is, is one of our third great trees for homeowners, and that is the Sonoran Desert Museum Palo Verde, or also known as the Museum Desert Museum Palo Verde. This Palo Verde does not have thorns. It does, it is thornless, so it's perfect. You can have a Palo Verde that takes our low, low water uh, requirements here in this area, plus it blooms much more bigger and much more yellow flowers than a regular Palo Verde and no thorns. So please remember when you go to buy one, look to make sure that it says Desert Museum. And then in the background, once again, we have the um, the Mexican flame bush with a little, and they really attract hummingbirds. The hummingbirds love that as a food source because they're the bright red, orange, and tubular shaped. All bright orange, tubular shaped flowers are just a natural fit for the hummingbird. Over the arroyo from the Palo Verde is a very unusual tree that you don't find here very often, but I think it's going to be a really great introduction to our area. And this is the California pepper tree. It's an evergreen tree, even though it looks like a mesquite. Once it gets big, it, 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 it does sometimes suffer from a cold frost or winter, but it bounces back and it gives you that same look of a mesquite without the, without the long pods and with evergreen. It's evergreen, so it's a great tree. It gets much bigger. It can get to be 20 to 30 feet tall and 20 feet wide when it's full grown. Just remember that you might want to put it in a protected area if you just like, and what I mean by protected area is in an area like this near cement, near rock, that gives it some warmth in the winter time. If you have anything, even like citrus plants that you'd like to grow, make sure you grow them up against the house. Bougainvillea, you do that too. You, uh, and you want a west side or a south side uh, exposure, and you'll be able to pretty much get away with whatever kind of plant you want to use here in this area because we have microclimates. And one of the microclimates is right up against your house, and that gives you the most protection and the most heat for the most sensitive plants.